Welcome to this video today, uh, which is all about Forex trading lessons for beginners. I want to cover a couple of lessons today, which I think really can help you achieve Forex trading success. Now, the first one is a technique. Now, if you learn this technique, understand it and practice it, uh, you'll trade the markets with total confidence, total self-belief. There'll be no doubt in your mind that you're going to make money longer term from the markets. Now, most traders start to trade they kind of hope they're going to make money from the markets, most of them. Most have doubts about their ability to do so. This technique will remove any doubts whatsoever. Now, also in today's video, what I want to do is cover uh, what we can learn in terms of you know, applying our own Forex trading strategy from the greatest strategy game of all time, which is chess. Now, in relation to what we're going to be discussing today, I want to refer to a chess grandmaster to illustrate my points. Now, his name is John Healy. I'm sure not many people have heard of him watching this video, but he won uh, 10 major UK titles in five years. And he had a very unusual background, which yeah, kind of astounded people that he could achieve what he did. Now, he will illustrate the points I'm going to make as we go through the video, particularly in terms of the first technique I just discussed. Just going to give you a short intro clip to him and then we'll be back to discuss. I used to drink with winos and then think these people are mad, they're barbarians. Then eventually I was one of them. When I was in prison on my last sentence, he taught me to play chess. This was the surprising thing about John Healy, that he actually had these enormous mental abilities that chess demands. Soon after that I started writing. It's one of the sort of, as it were, top 10, top 15 books that I've ever published. I really thought it was a masterpiece. Back up to that short summary there of John Healy, I think uh, most people would say he is probably a very unusual person to imagine being a chess grandmaster. I've read his book, The Grass Arena, it's his autobiography, it's absolutely fantastic. You realise what tough life he had, you know, abused as a child, no formal education on the streets of London, then in jail. And then, shortly after coming out of jail, he won his first of 10 major UK titles. Now, in terms of the guy talking over that clip, he said no one realized that Healy had the huge mental capabilities demanded of chess. Now, most people think of you know, really great chess players as having either a really high IQ, i.e. they're very intelligent, or they have fantastic memories. But is that true? The answer is it isn't true at all. They have just learnt the art of analysing data via chunking, which is a psychological term. Now, in terms of chunking of data and the analysing of it, it's been proven that that is what separates out high achievers in any discipline, be it you know, chess, forex or even competitive sport. And the technique of chunking if you understand it and understand the way that it works, you can see why you can become a really good Forex trader. Now, what I want to do is I want to give a quick summary of the art of chunking, okay? And then we'll come back and discuss how you apply it to Forex trading. Also, what I want to do is show you something that great chess players do, um, which many people think, you know, you know, it's really hard to do. How on earth can they do it? It's playing a game of chess, but in a different way. And keep in mind that a game of chess has limitless combinations of moves, okay? Just gonna show you the quick summary, then we'll be back in a moment to discuss. Queen of D2. Bishop takes h3. Bishop takes e5. Rook to e8. Bishop takes d8. Pawn takes pawn g5. Pawn takes pawn g5.
Welcome back after that uh, short explanation of chunking. It needs a little bit more uh, explanation in terms of how it works in 4X training, which we're going to go through. I also did a short clip there from the excellent film about John Healy's life. Now, taking chess players first of all, they don't have to think about how all the individual pieces relate to each other to make sense of the board. They've seen it so often, they can just basically chunk the whole board basically know what to do. All the individual pieces they don't have to think about. The way they do it when they're actually not looking at the board is they're so familiar with it. They can just visually snapshot the board, drop it to their subconscious, recall it for the next move. Now, in relation to chunking, it does come from familiarity. And we do it, like I was saying on the board there, in terms of language. You don't think about how all the letters relate to each other when you read a book. You know, you chunk them together, you just read the book, okay? It's an effortless action. You don't have to think about it. You've done it so often. Now, how does this happen in Forex trading? Well, when a novice trader comes to look at a chart, he tries to make sense of the individual bits of the chart. So let me give you an example. You'll be looking at where support and resistance is and thinking about it and how it relates to other levels. Also maybe the steepness of the move up or down, how recent candles um, relate to each other, all that sort of stuff. So thinking about the individual bits of the chart. An experienced uh, Forex trader doesn't need to do that. An experienced Forex trader just looks at the chart as a whole and basically chunks it all together, then basically makes a decision on what to do. That comes from familiarity. Now, in terms of, you know, if you're trading Forex or coming into trade Forex, yes, your strategy can be very simple. In fact, simple strategies are obviously the best. However, you have to get familiarity with Forex price movement. A lot of traders come in and think there's you know, certain set patterns that always repeat. You've got to think of what a chess game is like. A chess player, when they're facing their opponent, they're always going to face different you know, combinations on the board. So I've said before, yeah, you know, there's limitless different combinations of moves in a game of chess. But because they've done it so often, they know what to do. They know the subtle differences. Um, are always going to be presented to them on the board, but yeah, they're confident in what they're going to do. Same with the experienced Forex trader. There's subtle differences between all chart formations, but because they've done it so often, it makes sense of the chart, they know what to do. Now, in terms of um, a learning curve, and it's obviously down to experience this, if you were to take Chess Grandmaster, it takes 10,000 hours um, to reach that level. That's been proven numerous times in tests. Um, in Forex trading, the good news is it doesn't take so long. How much familiarity do you need to become a good, confident Forex trader? Well, I would say a few hundred hours probably um, to become yeah, really confident in what you're doing. Just look at a chart and just make uh, your trade or not make your trade depending on how you see the chart, which I don't think is a long period you have to learn a profession, okay? Now, in terms of yeah, Forex traders, they get very discouraged by that. You know, they want to be instantly successful. It isn't going to happen. There's a learning curve in anything. And it's been proved, you know, with chunking, it goes on in all different disciplines, you know, like competitive sport, etc. All people who reach a high level basically have practice. There's no way around it. So. I think if you're coming into Forex trader, trading, sorry, you need to get familiarity with it. You need to get comfortable with your strategy, get that instinctive feel for the chart. Anyone can do it. I'm not saying anyone is going to become, you know, like a millionaire Forex trader, but anyone can reach a competent level in Forex trading. There's no question about that and make consistent profits from the markets. Now, I think chess as a strategy game, which is so fantastic in terms of learning um, what you need to learn in Forex trading effectively, which is how to deal with uncertainty, yeah, with confidence. Also, in terms of um, chess, you can never be certain of what your opponent 
is going to do. You can't control them. You can only control what you do. It's the same in Forex trading. You can't control what the market is going to do. You can only control what you are going to do. Okay. So you're always thinking about your opponent's moves as much as your own. Okay. And I think in terms of Forex trading, most traders don't do that. They think more about just what they want to do. They don't think, you know, what the market is going to do. You know, is their move too obvious, for example? A chess player will think about that. A chess player um, who is losing well, knows it's a long game. Um, they won't lose heart, they'll keep going. If they start to win, they will never get too excited either. They'll be very controlled and objective and think about what can go wrong. Forex traders very often when they're making money, they never think about what can go wrong. They're just so happy about things going right. Now, in terms of chess, if you're going to win a game of chess, you've got to lose pieces. It's the way you lose your pieces that is important. And it's the same in Forex trading. You are inevitably going to lose a lot of trades. You just do not want to let, let, let those losses get out of control. Um, chess is just a great game for making you more objective, making you more analytical, making you more disciplined. It's a fantastic game. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play out with some quotes from chess and you'll note how they all relate to forex trading. And I put them over some footage um, of John Healy. First bit of footage is from the excellent film about his lifestyle. Then a bit of footage uh, on John Healy generally with a guy saying something about him which you know, know is not true at all because you know the technique of chunking. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Just play out with the quotes now. Thank you for watching me as per usual. Bishop to King 6. Knight to King's Rook 3. Oh, you can't. There's a pawn there. You bastard. How do you get there? You put him there, Fox. Seven moves ago. What about uh, King's Rook 5? Yeah, you can go there. If you want. Ah, uh, leaves me open. No, wait, ah. Uh, King's... King 3? No, no. It's doing my head in trying to remember. Knight to King 6. Ah. Knight to King 6. Rook to King 1. Oh, bollocks! I'm sending out for a board. He uh, took the chess in prison, and that was very important for him, immensely important, because he, he started playing chess like the way he drank. He started to take over uh, everything in my head. There were these horror stories of this violent, derelict, vagrant suddenly invading the chess world, suddenly outperforming people who'd been playing all their lives. It was just impossible.